Hi, I'm Ashley, and I bought a shed that we are turning into a she shed, aka my dream craft room. And this series is the process of how we did that from start to finish, so I hope you'll follow along for the final reveal. I feel like I've been all over God's country today and have not accomplished anything. 84 Lumber got a new lock for the bottom part of the door there where I have that plastic stuck inside of it because the other one I had was broke. So I got a new lock, got some wood fill, went to Walmart today, got a paintbrush and rollers, even though we ended up buying a paint sprayer from Lowe's. So shout out to my husband because he bought me that for my anniversary. So we got a paint sprayer. I'm super excited about it. We can also use stain in there. So when we go to stain the deck this summer, that'll be, that'll come in handy. Got a Brad nailer because I'm going to need one in the future. And the one that we borrowed off of a friend, he's going to need his back. So we went ahead and got one of those. A blade for the table saw that I bought off of someone. And then I also got plastic, some painter's tape down in there, a piece to fix my husband's air compressor. And then we got some new blades for whatever that thing's called that we have. Does this tell me what it's called? Reciprocating saw? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the names of most of these tools. I just use them. Um, and then I got some paint swatches whenever we was at Lowe's. I'm going to paint everything white in here, except I think I'm going to paint that wall. Um, cause it's going to have white cabinets and stuff on it. So I think I'm going to paint it a different color and I'm stuck between these five colors. So these three, I love, let's like hold them up here so you can see them. Well, that's not really the best lighting either, is that maybe over here? So I really do like, let's get these out of the way. I really like those ones, and then I also like that one and this one. These two are very, well, they look similar on here, but they're actually not. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of ponder on these and see which one I think is going to look the best. So let me know what you guys think. So I've got those. So now... I'm going to get the windows and doors all taped off and then I'm going to change clothes and oh I got to do the wood fill stuff first and you do that first then I'm going to tape off everything change clothes and give this paint sprayer a go so let's see how this works for the wood filler I actually didn't have to do much there was two seams that I put wood fill in this split in the wood i put wood filler over it and then i had one area that we messed up whenever we cut the wood around the one of the plugins that i had to fill and kind of jimmy that up you guys will see that a little bit later what did you say i didn't say i said i Me and my kiddo use walkie-talkies to communicate when I'm in the shed and he's in the house. Don't worry, he's nine years old. He is just fine. I am like 20 feet away from him. So um, we use walkie-talkies to talk. But this right here is one of the seams. So the boards were not long enough to go all the way across the wall. It created a seam. I took wood fill, put it over top of the seam. And the good thing about the wood fill is it doesn't take very long to dry. So um, maybe like a half hour after doing this, I was able to come in with the sander and sand over it. And I didn't put a ton on there. I know that once the white paints over top of it, it's going to cover a lot. White hides a lot of things. So that's good. It'll help whenever I go to paint this. So got the wood fill in, let it dry. And then I come back in with the sander to smooth it down some.
once the sanding was finished, I went in with the shot vac. I swept over top of the wall where I had sanded to get all the dust off of it, swept the floor up. I ended up sweeping the rest of the shed as well to get up as much dust and debris as I could because we're going to get ready to paint, you guys. Oh, so excited for this moment to finally be here. Oh, we have white paint! Look at us. Homemade paint stirrer. I didn't have a paint stirrer big enough for this five gallon bucket, so we took a piece of scrap wood and wrap plastic around it and use that to stir the paint up. But for the paint that I'm using in here, it's Valspar 2000. It is satin finished, it's just white paint, and it also has primer in it. Prep work is key when it comes to painting, and I typically skip out on the prep work, but this time I did not. We went over all of the windows and doors with plastic and painter's tape, got everything taped off. All of the plug-ins and light switches are taped off. And then you'll see here in a second me trying to figure out how to use the paint sprayer for the first time. Let's spray the floor in the corner. What about that paper that they gave me? I have a love-hate relationship with this paint sprayer. Obviously, it made painting everything 10 times faster. However, paint sprayers blow air out and the air was getting hot because we were using it a ton and it was drying up the paint on the ends and the inside of the paint sprayer so quickly that we were, you know, like every 15 minutes having to go inside and clean everything with little brushes and scrub it all out. It was creating splatters everywhere. It wasn't smooth and this might be user error. I'm not sure I haven't used the paint sprayer enough to know. I think it's going to take me a few more times, but it definitely made things go a lot faster. However, the wood soaked up so much paint that we did have to go back in multiple times and paint things by hand. I probably should have painted with just straight primer to begin with, done a couple of coats of that and then went back over with the paint and primer combination, but I didn't lesson learned. Um, now, I'm actually in the shed and looking around there are some knots in the wood that have come through and I can see them so I'll still have to go back in and do a little bit of touch up painting. But the paint sprayer did make it go a lot faster and it got that first layer on. I think we might have done a couple of layers with the paint sprayer so it got a few layers on very very quickly which I'm thankful for. That's a lot faster than I could have done it by hand. Yeah. Are you excited? Show them your excited face. Is that blinking? That's not excited. That's excited face. Okay. Don't get too excited over there. Mm, I don't have a stroke. Oh, yeah. No, don't do that. Well.
we spent the entire day getting the shed painted. So we painted the first layer on the walls and it actually dried fairly quickly. We waited a few hours, probably took a nap. I don't remember, but we probably took a nap. And then we come back and we finished spraying everything. Now the mini split, this wall we did last so we could have the air on on the mini split for as long as possible before we had to cover it up with plastic and get that side of the shed painted. Here's an overview of what the shed looked like when we were almost finished with the white paint. Stay tuned for the next episode because you'll see what color I ended up picking out for the accent wall at the back of the shed where the cabinets are going to go.